talk to you about how to find the prime factorization of a number. Um, I'm going to show you using the birthday cake method. If you are familiar with the factorization or prime factorization tree and you want to use that method, that is fine. I'm just showing you the birthday cake method. I think that it, um, the way that it's set up, it kind of lends itself to students making fewer mistakes and leaving out numbers. So that's why I'm going to show it to you this way, okay? And the way the birthday cake method works is you start off with a number. Um, so let's say I'm going to start off with 30, okay? And I want to find a prime factor that goes into 30. Now what I've done up top is I've listed the first uh, seven prime numbers. Remember, prime numbers go on forever, but these are just the first seven prime numbers. And a number is prime when it only has two factors, one in itself. Uh, notice that one is not here. One is not a prime number. A lot of people make a mistake in thinking that one is prime, but it's not prime um, because it doesn't have two factors. It only has one factor. Another mistake people make is not thinking that 2 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number because it only has two factors, one in itself. There is no rule that says prime numbers can't be um, even or that all composite numbers are even or that prime numbers are all odd because obviously 2 is a prime number and it is even. Now 2 is the only prime number because every number higher than 2 has 2 as a factor. So every even number is at least going to have one itself and then two is a factor. Um, another mistake is that people think that nine is a prime number. Uh, nine is not prime because it has factors of one, three, and nine. So the way the birthday cake method works is you start off with a number and um, so we're going to find the prime factorization of 30. So we want to divide it by a prime factor of 30. We don't want to use 10 because 10 is not a prime factor, it's a composite factor. Um, a prime factor, I could use 2, 3, or 5 here. It really doesn't matter which one you use. You're going to get the same answer. I am going to use 2 just to use 2. All right, so 2 goes into 30 15 times. Um, I'm going to keep going until I have a 1 up at the top. This is called the birthday cake method because we're making like our layers of a birthday cake and we're going to end up with a candle, a single candle up at the top. So that's how we know that we're done. So now a prime factor of 15, again, I can use 3 or 5. I'm going to go with 3. 3 goes into 15 5 times. Now I need a prime factor of 5, which is 5. 5 goes into 5 one time, and I know I'm done because I have this single little birthday candle. Those are supposed to be flames. Don't laugh at my flames. Um, a single little birthday candle up at the top. That's how I know that I am done. And the way you write the prime factorization, because this isn't the prime factorization, the prime factorization is when you write out the prime factor, factors being multiplied by each other. So the prime factorization is 2 times 3 times 5. Now you always want to write your prime factorization from smallest to largest and you want to use exponents if needed. I and mean, there's no uh, duplicate numbers here so I'm not going to use any exponents. And a way to check yourself is to actually multiply them. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So I know I'm right because I started with a 30 down here. So let's try, uh, let's use this method to find the prime factorization of another number. Uh, let's do 100. Uh, prime factor of 100, let's go with 5. 5 goes into 120 times. All right, a prime factor of 20, again, I could go with 5, or I could pick 2. I'm going to go with 2. 2 goes into 20 10 times. Prime factor of 10, I'll go with 5. 5 goes into 10 2 times. Uh, prime factor of 2 is 2. 2 goes into 2 1 time, so I'm done. i got my beautiful little candle here. And um, so the prime factorization here is 2 squared, because I've got two 2's there, times 5 squared. And I've got two 5's there. And you can double check. There's two 2's. There's two 5's. So I know I've got them all. 2 times 2. 2 squared is 4. 5 squared is 25. 4 times 25 is 100. And, you know, uh, you can always finish off the little birthday cake if you feel like you need to make it look like one. Okay? All right. Um, let me give you guys one more example. Let's use, uh, let's do 33. Okay? Uh, prime factor of 33, we could do 3 or 11. Let's go with 11. 11 goes into 33 three times. Prime factor of 3 is 3. 
3 goes into 3 one time. There we go. I'm done. Got my little candle. So the prime factorization is 3 times 11, and we know we're done because 3 times 11 is 33. So we are good to go. We're done.